Okay, so now that we have resuspended all our oligos, we need to now dilute them to 10 micromolars. So you might wonder why didn't we just do that on step one? The problem is if you do the math, the amount of water that would get you to 10 micromolar from that amount of DNA would exceed the volume of the tube. So we're gonna have to do a dilution in a second tube. So we'll do this one by one, but it doesn't take much thinking. We're just gonna take an Eppendorf tube and label it with the name of the oligo. This one's called oligo 3SB. And I'm going to write on there 100, sorry, 10 micromolar. Okay. So then I'm going to take my, uh, this guy and set it at 90 and I'll do 10 microliters of good water. And then 10 microliters of 100 micromolar oligo. You definitely did more than 10 microliters on that, on what you said. Mm -hmm. um, in the original that you said 10 microliters, they just said to 9. So 90 water. Right. 10 of this. Yes, exactly. Okay. I was just saying you misspoke when you were oh. talking to the video. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 10 microliters. And I just pipette it up and down so that I don't have to shake it up. That'll be sufficient mixing for this. Well, kind of. Um, okay, so now we just need to do the